In the Bible, there are three great points at which change takes place in relationship between God and man. Three tremendous points of change. One is in Genesis chapter 3 with the fall of, 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 of Adam, the fall of man. In Genesis 3, God had put man in, in, in the garden. Genesis chapter 3, verse number 21. Unto Adam also and his wife did the Lord God make coats of skin and, and, uh, and clothe them. This is after Adam fell, after the sin of Adam and Eve. And the Lord God said, Behold, man has become as one of us to know good and evil. Now, lest he put forth his hand and take also of the tree of life and eat and live forever. Therefore the Lord God sent him forth from the garden of Eden to till the ground from whence he was taken. So he drove out man, the man and he placed at the east of the garden of Eden cherubim and a flaming sword which turned every way to keep the way to the tree of life. God separated man from the garden. He put man back here in the Garden of Eden, gave him a plan, gave him a commission, gave him a purpose. Man sinned and fell, and God separated Adam out and sent Adam out out of the garden and separated. And sin separated man from God, man from God. God made a way for man to get back. He made the sacrifice. He shed the blood. He had the way here. He set the cherubim there to guard the way so man could get back. It couldn't be destroyed. But man is separated now. And God's dealings with man change. They no longer walk in the cool of the day together and have Bible study. Now there's a separation. And for man to get back to God, there has to be the shedding of blood. And there has to be the approach of faith in that blood. So there's a difference. Man goes along here for a while, and you know the, the story we just read a moment ago in Genesis chapter number uh, uh, 6 uh, about, about, the, about, about the, the flood and so forth with, with Noah there. And he puts man back on the earth over here, and God continues to deal with man until you come to Genesis chapter number 11. And there, there in Genesis 11 is the Tower of Babel. And man, after having corrupted the earth... And having had an opportunity again to have himself established in the earth, in Genesis chapter 11, God comes down and sees that man is again rebelling against him. And God scatters man in the earth. And he takes, he takes the nations of the earth. And back here, the fall of man, man is separated. Now... The nations of the earth are separated. And, and you have come along what's called Gentiles because what God does is he separates out from the Gentile nations one family. Abraham, the circumcision. Romans chapter number 1, the apostle Paul talks about it like this. Romans chapter number 1. When Paul talks about the, the scattering of the nations, just like he separated man out here, he's going to separate a nation out from the nations. Romans chapter 1, verse 18 describes it like this. For the wrath of God was revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of man who hold the truth and, un, uh, who hold the truth and unrighteousness. Because that which may be known of God was manifest in them, for, for, they, for God has showed it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even as eternal power in Godhead, so that they're without excuse. Because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools, and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like into corruptible man, to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. Wherefore God also gave them up. See that? Verse 26. For this cause God gave them up. Verse 28. Even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which were not convenient. What did God do? In response to man's rejection of God and man's rebellion against God and man's insistence to go, upon, go on his own way, God just said, okay, you want to go your way, have at it. And God gave man up. In Acts chapter number 14, Paul talks about it like this. Acts 14, verse number 15. 
Sirs, why do you these things? We also are men of like passions with you, and preach unto you that you should turn to, from these vanities unto the living God, who made heaven and earth and the sea and all things that in them is, who in time past, 